Welcome to the mysterious world of tarot. Learning the cards can seem overwhelming at first, but when we approach it through storytelling, it becomes a captivating journey. Imagine each card as a character with its own unique story to tell. Instead of memorizing meanings, we dive into these rich narratives, making the cards more intuitive and their lessons more memorable. By weaving the tarot into stories, we connect with the cards on a deeper level, making the learning process not only easier, but also more enjoyable. So let's embark on this enchanting journey together and uncover the wisdom of the tarot through the magic of storytelling. I upload a new story every Sunday. If you like my stories, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you will be sure to get the next episode. This week, the story is called The Wisdom of the High Priestess. In the windswept, rain-soaked heart of New York, amid the looming modern skyscrapers, stood a small, curious, old-fashioned bookstore, a sanctuary of ancient secrets known as the High Priestess Wisdom Corner. Its owner, the mysterious Serafina, was a modern-day high priestess with sandy hair and deep, knowing blue eyes, whose presence sparkled with calm and serenity. One rainy evening, Mia, a troubled university student, entered the bookstore. She was torn between her passion for art and her parents' insistence that she pursue medicine. Serafina, seeing how sad the girl looked, beckoned her over. Come in, my dear. You look like you have a heavy heart. How can I help you? Mia approached her nervously. I'm struggling with my future. My parents are pressuring me to be a doctor. But I want to be an artist. I am so lost. Can you help me tell them that I can't? Mia, understand that your parents are just thinking of your future. But perhaps you can come to a mutual agreement that is just and fair. My intuition tells me that you can honor both your artistic passion and educational responsibilities. Well, how can I do both? Mia asked. Balance is the key. Pursue your medical studies while nurturing your art. Show your parents you can excel in both fields. Trust yourself and the universe will guide you. Mia was so relieved. Thank you, Serafina, for making me feel supported. You are very kind. I feel like I have a direction now. Mia left the bookstore with a renewed sense of purpose. She successfully balanced her medical studies with her love for art and eventually became a renowned medical illustrator, merging her two worlds. Serafina continued to guide those who sought her wisdom her little bookstore a beacon of light in the modern city. She remained the keeper of sacred knowledge, tradition, and order, helping countless souls find their way in an ever-changing world.